Okay, so here we've got the, uh, the GB784 installation tool. We also have the GB784 split handle, the SH. Both of these tools can be adjusted in the same manner. There is no difference in adjusting the pin brake height on either one of these tools. Today we are showing you the NAS 1398 C5-3 fastener, cherry lock. When a 784 installation tool, whether it is a split handle or a standard tool, it is set to a factory setting uh, using this gauge. When you pull the trigger, you see the gauge is flush with our threads. We set this tool to that standard every single time. We set it to this standard because that is going to be most likely the setting that you need to be at to break your pin at the proper level. So we have uh, the 4U, or I'm sorry, 5U-681-25 nose assembly to install the dash 5 cherry lock. Go ahead, Ron. So we have uh, this rivet in the grip range. Set that on the table. So here you see that the rivet has broke pretty flush with the, uh, the head of the rivet. Now to make an adjustment on the tool, let's say that rivet broke low or broke high, you needed to readjust it. Um, in order to do that, you need an Allen wrench to turn either clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on if you want that pin to break higher or lower. So here Ron has uh, twisted it counterclockwise, and we will show you the difference between the pins. So here you can see that the pin has now broke slightly higher than the head. And actually, if we compare the two, you can see the difference. All right, so Ron, turn the adjuster knob in the back. You can see that it made a difference as the height of the pin tail. Now, we're gonna do the complete opposite. We're gonna turn that knob all the way to the other side and break another fastener. All right, now, you can see that one is broke low. So again, you have to adjust the knob on the back of the tool. And again, whether it is a standard GB784 installation tool, or if it is a split handle tool, it's all done in the same manner. So another way to determine the pin brake height is using this gauge. When Gauge Built ships the tool, the tool is already factory set so that this portion of the gauge right here is going to be flush with the thread. If you want the pin to break lower, then you're going to adjust your knob to the lower position. If you want your pin to break higher, you're going to adjust your pin to the higher position. All right. Now, you can tell by your gauge because it's actually the opposite. When you adjust, when you adjust this, and we're going higher right now, higher is actually going to be lower on the gauge. So the gauge will actually stick inside, will recess inside those threads. Right? When we turn it to the lower position, so that's referring to the pin brake height. If you want the pin brake height lower, you look at the gauge, and the gauge will protrude out just slightly. And if you think about that, 
the piston is helping the nose to push the pin in further and break inside the rivet. So when looking at the gauge, it is opposite. But when adjusting the knob, if you want the pin brake to be higher, adjust it higher. If you want the pin brake to be lower, adjust it lower. But these tools will be set so that this gauge is flush with those threads.